use an explicit equation. And I plugged in a 1 to get the first term. I plugged in a 2 for n to get the second term. I plugged in a 3 for n to get the third term. So I have a sequence 7, 9, 11. Hey, what's going to come next? Yeah, at this point I don't need the equation. I just see the pattern, right? I see that I am just doing plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 and I'm getting an arithmetic sequence. What we're going to talk about today is how do I go backwards? If I gave you a sequence, how could you write an equation for it? Well, let's look and see if we notice anything here. That 7, ah, that's my first term. Interesting. And that 2, where does the 2 show up in that sequence? Yeah, 2 is what we call the common difference. It's what I'm adding each time, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. That's what we call the common difference. And sometimes we use the letter D stand for that. So, D is the common difference. And then n minus 1. This, my friends, is one way to write an equation for any arithmetic sequence. This only works if you have an arithmetic sequence. And there are lots of different ways you could write this equation. There are different forms of this equation, but this one will always work. Your nth term is the first term plus your common difference times the term number minus 1. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can practice some more arithmetic sequences and see if we can come up with the equation. Here is an arithmetic sequence. Plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. All right, so let's see if I can follow that same blueprint. We said that the nth term is the first term plus the common difference times n minus 1. All righty, here we go. So let's write an explicit equation for this sequence. The nth term, in other words, any term I want to find, I can get by taking the first term, which in this case is 3, plus the common difference, which we decided was 5, times n minus 1. There it is. There it is. Let's test. Let's plug in a 1. 3 plus 5 times 0 is 3. Let's plug in a 2 for the second term. 3 plus 5 times 2 minus 1, that's 3 plus 5, that's 8. If I plug in a 3, you're going to get 13, and so on and so forth. Well, how cool is this? Let's try this next one. All right, the nth term is going to be my first term, which is 7, plus, now, what's my common difference here? Oh, my common difference here is plus negative 6, or minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. So my common difference is going to be a negative 6 times n minus 1. There's an explicit equation that would describe this arithmetic sequence. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Hey, let's look at some geometric examples, shall we? So if you recall, geometric sequences are like exponential functions. They have a pattern, but instead of plus something, plus something, plus something, it's time something, time something, time something. Let's generate this sequence first. Let's plug in a 1 to see what our first term is. 1 minus 1 is 0. If you recall, 2 raised to the 0, any number raised to the 0, except for 0, is 1. So that's 3. That's our first term. Let's find our second term. 3 times 2 to the 2 minus 1. That's 3 times 2 to the 1. That's 6. Let's find our third term. Are you seeing a pattern yet? 3 minus 1, that's going to be 3 times, whoops, 2 squared, that's going to be 12. Okay, 
What pattern do you see? What's our common ratio? Yeah, three times two is six. Six times two is 12. So this geometric sequence is three, six, 12. What would the next one be? Times two, 24. Times two, 48. So let's try to break down the pieces here. Well, let's see, this nth term is three. Well, where's three? Oh, three is our first term, a sub one times, well, what's that two? Two is the common ratio. It's the thing I'm multiplying by over and over and over. And remember, we call that the common ratio. So I'm gonna use an R for the common ratio to the N minus one. There's the general form for a geometric sequence. And I just want to say, this is one way to write an equation. There's an, actually an infinite number of ways I could write an equation to generate this sequence, but we'll get to that a little later. Here are two geometric sequences. Let's see if we can write an explicit equation for them. All right, so if you recall, our kind of general thing was the nth term is the first term times the common ratio to the n minus one, where n is the term number. All right, here we go. So, first term, two. Common ratio, well, what am I multiplying by over and over again? Two times what is six? Six times what is 18? Yeah, three. Times three, times three, times three. So our common ratio is three. And raised to the n minus one, and what do you know? There is my explicit equation. If you plugged in a one, you're gonna get a two. If you plug in a two for n, you're gonna get a six. If you plug in a three for n, you're gonna get an 18. And so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, let's look at this red one. First, let's make sure it's geometric. Is there a geometric pattern here? Yes, indeed. Times a half, times a half, times a half. Yeah. Okay, so my nth term is going to be my first term times my common ratio, which is one half, raised to the n minus one. Da da la da da. -da. 